Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your man, Zephyr Fernandez Brantley with FLB Photography again. I know it's been a minute, but uh, today we're going to be starting uh, with our, wow, with our tutorials and, you know, us just generally, you, you watching me sitting around just jacking my jaw and stuff like that, you know, as I'm, you know, trying to get some brand new photographers on the right track, you know, because you got way too many experts on Facebook. And if you notice, uh, their stuff looks uh, less than appealing. Uh, but... So, with that in mind, we talk about camera equipment. One thing that newbie photographers always want to know is, what is the best camera you can buy? And the answer to that, no matter what level that you're at, is like the best camera that you can buy is the one that's in your head. Because if you have a project that you're working on right now, you know, and you have no camera whatsoever, then you have no, I mean, then you can't accomplish the project. But if you have a basic kit level, entry level camera, an entry level body, an entry level lens, then you can do just as well as that as you can with a high end camera. You can only, you're only as good as your skill level affords you, you know, and whatever equipment that you have in your hand. Because you can be, you can have the most sensational equipment. You can have a Nikon D3S, you can have a medium format camera. You know, you can have a Sony A700, you can have a Nikon Z6, you know, but if after you produce those images, your images still looks lackluster and forgettable, then you still fail to accomplish your job because you have, you know, you lack the most important piece of equipment that, you know, that you need. Um, like Ansel Adams, who is a world-renowned, famous uh, landscape photographer, you know, said once, is that the most important piece of equipment that a photographer has is the 12 inches behind the back of the camera. Because without this, then nothing, no good piece of tech or, or gear, you know, could ever make you into an Anson Adams or Richard Avedon, you know, or her Ritz, you know, or, or a Peter Lindbergh, you know, because they develop their skills over time. And then during the era where they were shooting, there were no such thing as digital uh, digital cameras. Me, I'm a photographer. I do beauty. I do glamour. I do some fashion, you know. But I do it all with this Nikon D7200. The most expensive thing that I have on this camera is this lens. You don't want to invest. If you want to invest in gear, you don't want to invest in a camera body, you know. But you do, however, want to invest in good glass, and that's why I invest so much money in glass. So. Um, when it comes to new photographers, you know, coming into the, you know, coming into the field and they want to get good information, you know, because things they generally they know, they don't know. If you've been shooting for a few years, don't automatically switch the conversation to gear because you'll be doing them a grave disservice. 